Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Recently, I purchased these glass culture test tubes for pennies. I got 500 of them for around $40, which is really a good bargain. The issue with them is that around 5 to 10% of them do have cracks and they are broken, as you can see here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix them. There's two ways to fix these. One is that if it's just the rim part here that is cracked, we can just heat it up with a propane tank. If it breaks further than that, like you can see here, what we can do is we can just cut below that using a rotary cutter. And then once we cut that, we can reheat them and then reshape them. And so it's back to, well, close to normal. I'll show you right now how to do it. Let's get started. Before we start, make sure you wear your safety glasses. Let's turn it on, the propane tank. This is a portable small one. This is a, a 16 ounce propane tank. There we go. Just turn it on. Hopefully you can hear that. Now, if you have a test tube, that's just the rim that is um, well, edgy and is very sharp. What you want to do is be able to heat it like this. Okay, maybe I'll turn it up more. Okay, and then just keep doing that until you get a smooth edge. Okay, and you let it cool before you handle the top. Notice I can hold onto the test tube on the bottom part is because it's not that hot. It's somewhere between the water condensation that you can still hold onto the test tubes. Now once it gets really hot, you don't want to hold it, so you might want to wear gloves. But at this point, I think it's not that hot. I can see that the glass, uh, the rim is turning red, so it's melting which is perfect. So I'm just going to rotate it back and forth like this. You try your best to get it as smooth as possible. And once it is done, see, as you can see here, it's quite smooth. And um, maybe this one needs a little bit more of heating. There we go. As you can see, the edges is now quite smooth. Now you can use it. You don't have to use it as a regular test tube. You can use it for, let's say, chemistry experiments. Okay, so it's still quite useful. So don't throw these um, borosilicate test tube away because you can still melt it down at least the edges right and can be reused again now let me show you that some of them are quite bad like this one here let me just turn this off first all right you can see this one is pretty bad uh, it's cracked all the way down to here what I want to do is I want to be able to just cut around the below that crack and then form a nice rim or edges and then we can then uh, reheat it to smooth that out okay let me show you right now so what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, rotary cutter to cut below that crack there and form a nice smooth rim and then we're going to heat it up so that the rim is not too sharp and make it smooth. Okay, so let's do that first step. Um, and you see the edges is pretty sharp. So what we want to do is we want to heat that. So let's see. And then you want to smooth the edges. How you know that it's um, melting quite well is when the edges start to turn red. That's when you know the glass is melting well. So here I can see the edges is actually turning red, the rim part, and I'm just rotating back and forth to allow the glass to melt smoothly. And make sure you let it cool, don't touch uh, the part where you heat it up or you're going to burn your hand for sure, you're going to get a third degree burn. 
All right, so to let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Okay, I can see it's turning red on the edges, which is a really good indication that it's smoothing out. All right, looks pretty good. I'm gonna try a little bit more on this side. Okay, looks good. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. I'll see you soon. Bye.